All right, man, I got your eggs. Get a crack them and make a giant omelet. Yeah, probably. He's like, you must be faster than you look. I don't think I like your implications, mister, but I'll take the free balloon ride. It wasn't free. It cost you eggs. I think Spyro's very, Spyro's very brave boy. Going in here when it's all spooky like this. What is this one? What world are we in? Beast Makers. Beast Makers, nice. That's some dudes making the floor all electric. Even though it's concrete. Yeah, it's magic. Don't judge him. You're at Beast Makers, so then we got Dream Weavers and then Nasty, and then we're done. I'm sure it was. Cool. Well, it just depends on what the balloon guy at the end of this is gonna want. Funny. Well, good thing I've got a lot of it. Oh, this dude looks like he's wielding a tattoo gun. Maybe he is. Maybe he wants to give that little baddie some ink. You think what kind of what kind of tattoo do you think Spyro would get if he could get a tattoo? Uh, badass motherfucker on his on his tummy. But in like some like really cute like handwritten font. Like crayon? Something written on his knuckles? <laughs> he has knuckles written on his knuckles? He's probably a big fan of the, that Sonic the Hedgehog. Probably, we all are. We love we loves us some Sonic. <laughs> As evident by today's today's recording session. Yeah. I won't give it away, but it was perfect. <laughs> oh, that bit at the end of it was mostly my fault. <laughs> Thumbs up our channel perfectly. I feel like these enemies are wearing so I like that they're wearing some cool guy shades. Yeah, because they're the they're the badasses. But Spyro's a little baby, so he's embarrassed to say the word ass, so he's like, ha, he giggles and he's like, I'm not gonna say that. He goes, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. Then he burns them alive. <laughs> those those dads aren't going home to their children tonight. This one's even bigger than the last guy. Yeah, because they're big old dragons. They're they're getting into grandpa status. He's even kind of purpley like Spyro. Don't know know where his parents are. What if they What if they're dead? His parents are just dead. Yeah, one of the. Little baby Spyro, not knowing about it, shot some fire into their face and they died. Like his dad is just one of these fucking tattoo artist bad guys here. Yeah. I think Spyro would be very upset if he ever learned about that. That's why he needs an origin story that doesn't involve the power of a thousand suns sourcing through him. Ow! Stop it. Papa? <laughs> You guys don't have any little animals around here to sacrifice to, to, to my, uh, what you call it, my dragonfly. Sparks. Ooh, just made it out of that one alive. Cyprin. Good job, Spyro. Oh, you're laying down all cool. All yeah. Amazing adventure. It's like, oh, Spyro, I was just chilling when I got zapped by that nasty nork. Oh, Spyro, draw, draw me like one of your French dragons. <laughs> I don't know how to draw, mister. Why is he from New York? That's where all the cool dragons are from. From New York? Yeah. Because they're wicked awesome? That's Boston. Yeah, I was going to say. Maybe Spyro could do some book learning and he can become wicked smat. He could. But he doesn't have parents who teach him how to read. So he'll just become wicked dumb. Wicked stupid. Also, if he's a little baby dragon and they were doing a documentary, why wasn't he in dragon school? That's how the game should end. Just be back doing the documentary. And the crew is like, wait a minute. Why aren't you at school, young one? Who's doing the documentary? Humans? Maybe. What if this was like a big elaborate setup? And at the very end, you find out it's humans, and then the game is just Cabela's. <laughs> Cabela's Dragon Hunts 2017. 
Yeah, like Cabela's mystical, mystical hunts. <laughs> Man, oh, there's a fun video game for you. Is that a, I wonder if that's a thing. Cabela's mystical hunts? Yeah, like dragons and unicorns and stuff like that. <laughs> we'll fight like Bigfoot. I don't know, but if they want to save their franchise, they should do that. I think that'd be amazing. Would that be a day one purchase for you? That would be a collector's edition, buy two copies to keep one in box. So I can go <laughs> to the conventions and have the people sign it. Are you telling me that if you had a chance to use, like, a harpoon gun to take down a Yeti, you would not do it? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty fun. Have a level where, you, uh, where you're where you in a boat and you chase down Loch Ness. Yeah, and then you can fight the, like, the Krakens along the way. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. And then dragons and unicorns and yetis and... And then at the end of the game, you get to put all the heads on your wall. Right? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be really disappointed if the trophies for the Cabela's games are not, like, heads mounted. <laughs> I'm going to be really disappointed. I've never looked into it, but they should be that. It makes the most sense. It makes a lot of sense in my head. Can we play a Cabela's game on here? I mean, most of those games are real bad, though. For channel called Dumpster Gameplay, I think we can afford to play a bad game once. <laughs> I haven't played a bad game this year. We played Bubsy. Yeah, it's a masterpiece. Nothing else <laughs> ever has won the Gold X Award. I just noticed the other day when I was looking at that, um, you got the copy that, that says the Gold X Award. On the front of it, right? Yeah. Mine doesn't. Mine doesn't have the Gold X Award thing on it. Yours doesn't have the Gold X Award thing on it? Really? No, it doesn't have it. It's just a plain old Bubsy 3D thing. I... What does that even mean? Is mine like a re-release? <laughs> I don't know. Does yours have the EGM thing up at the top? No. It says Bubsy 3D, um, it just says Accolade down in the corner. It's a real, like, work of art. Yeah, because mine's got the Gold X Award, and then mine's got a, a blurb from EGM. But then the Gold X Award thing is also written on the back. Wow. I wonder if and... that means yours is more rare. <laughs> I don't know. Worth looking into, I guess. I just figured, like, I have the... The untouched masterpiece version of the cover art. And if yours is like original run, like copy one. <laughs> that would be very, very interesting. What the fuck are these enemies? Watch these fucking things. Oh! <laughs> Big fucking weird ground devouring rabbit things. God, that's a little terrifying actually. They're super fast. Go! Oh. Almost got me. I was gonna swallow me into the darkness. Okay, so we were talking about bad games. Did you see the trailer for the new Shaq Fu? Yeah, I did. I loved it. Yeah, I thought it was, you know, it's Shaq Fu. I'm a little disappointed that it's not a fighting game, though. I was surprised it's coming to the Switch. I at least want there to be cameos by some of the Shaq Fu original cast. Like who? Like the... The mummy, whatever his name was. Oh, um... Yeah, and the big guy set? Yeah. And the Venom ripoff, and the, the weird Janet Jackson cat lady. When are we gonna play that? We, al we already played that. When are we going to play that again? Are we going to have to play the Shaq Fu sequel like we have to play some of the other sequels? Really have to ask that question? Yeah, I guess I should have known the answer to it as soon as I asked it. I have to know that it's coming. They want it. Grrr. 